As the pandemic rages on, so does the widespread hunger that has hit children and families for lots of reasons, including job losses and school closures. Ken Molestina met a DISD teacher today who, along with his own son, is doing what they can to help their community. If you drive past Samuel Grant Park in East Dallas, Good morning! Most every morning at about 8.30 a.m. Good morning! You'll hear the boisterous and love filled greeting from Keith Branch and his 15 year old son, Keith Branch II. Good morning, sir. Their voices can be heard down the street. Good morning. But even louder, how many kids? Is the gesture they offer hungry kids and families struggling to feed them with each bag of breakfast they hand out. And we're just trying to help the community because during the, the pandemic right now, we know that there are a lot of people who are not working, a lot of people who don't have access to. Get food. Mr. Branch says he's been working with a group called Kids for Life to offer the meals. He's an educator himself and has been teaching for 30 years. When he hands out the bags, there's also an invaluable lesson his son says he's learning from his father. He's helping me understand, like helping people. He's just, he's just helping me understand. Helping people like Maria Figueroa, who says, there are many people who need the meals because they've lost their jobs. It's those kinds of families this father and son are trying to hold up. I hope they leave here with knowing that we are out here trying to help, knowing that we are a symbol of God, and that uh, anything we can do to help, that's what God set us out here for. Currently, DISD students cannot return back to school until the first week of September. So father and son say they'll be here until at least then. If it gets pushed back again, they'll be out here longer. In Dallas, Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News. How beautiful is that?